Greetings. I am Marilyn Ivaldes Mercado, a master teacher too of San Juan Central Elementary School with Stead Center, San Juan Southern Leyte. I've been teaching for 30 years now, and for the last 20 years, I am teaching Mathematics 5. Honestly speaking, I never dreamt of becoming a teacher, but faith brought me into this vocation. When I was still young, I wanted to take up engineering or accountancy in college. But during my third year high school, my parents got separated, and on my fourth year, my father got in a relationship with a teacher and became my stepmom. I was then motivated by her. She said that educators were in high demand and many of her colleagues were soon to retire. And so, there is a high possibility that after passing the exam, I can easily find a job. So, the reason I became a teacher in the first place is job security. As I go through my college education, my perception of being a teacher slowly changes. I realize that being a teacher, I can make a difference in the lives of my students and their families. I can make a great impact on their future. As what I have experienced, a teacher should have dedication and patience in order to be successful. As a dedicated teacher, one should have the passion and love to teach and consistently work to make your classroom environment a better place for all. And to be dedicated, a teacher should be creative and resourceful to find ways and means in order to meet the needs of each learner. As a teacher, he must cultivate patience a lot to the kids in the sense that they came from different families with different upbringing. A teacher should understand and know how to interact and talk to them. Even if how busy a teacher is, he should be calm at all times. Having these personality traits, everything will come into place. When I was assigned in a remote area during my first years in the service, I had a student with special needs. He acts normal, but coping up with the daily lessons was his major problem. It was very challenging for me because I had to make an adjustment. So what I did was, I created some innovative lessons that suits his ability, but with good connection with my lesson. Although I had a hard time having that situation at first, seeing my students' little steps toward learning made me motivated in doing my best, not just to teach but to touch every student's life as well. And with that experience, I learned that when you love something, you do it not by responsibility but by heart. Thank you and good day.